The Five Free Alliance presents The Haze Origins and Challenges Much of Southeast Asia has been affected more and more by forest fires which cause the transboundary smoke called the haze. But what is the haze? Where does it come from? What are its impacts? And how can we stop it? The haze is air pollution. It is smoke literally from forest burning during the dry season from July to October. The trade winds blow the smoke from Indonesia to Singapore, Malaysia and across ASEAN. To understand its origins, we have to go back in time to the 70s with the Indonesian government's transmigration policy, which was to move landless people from densely populated areas of Indonesia to less populated areas of the country. The stated purpose of this program was to reduce the overpopulation on Java and provide opportunities for hardworking Indonesians to utilize the land of the outer islands. However, the resettled people did not know local agriculture or local traditions. With a lack of resources, they had to use fire to clear the land and start plantations. And as the forest disappeared, the microclimate got drier. The unmanaged landscapes became increasingly prone to fires as the land dried out more, which resulted in a cycle of fire. Stopping the haze means prevention of the fires, but there are challenges. Challenge 1. In Indonesia, peatlands cover 20.6 million hectares, which is 10.8% of the national land surface. Peat is the buildup of organic materials such as leaves, grasses, fallen trees and root systems that accumulate over decades or centuries. Unlike the fast-moving forest fires, these fires can burn up to 10 times more fuel mass, burn wet and deep, and produce even more smoke. They even can restart after being extinguished. Challenge 2. Agriculture in rural areas still uses slash and burn techniques. Uncontrolled burning occurs when local communities are not aware of the risks associated with fire or of any of the affordable alternatives to burning the land. So with such little understanding of fire management, unmanaged fires can get out of control and quickly spread across large areas. Challenge 3. Poverty results in the use of fire for land clearing. Costing only 5 to 10 US dollars per hectare, the cost of mechanical land clearing is up to 300 to 400 US dollars per hectare. When farmers lacking knowledge of water management see their crops die because of floods in the wet season, they may be tempted to blame the land and start again somewhere else using fire to clear more land. Challenge 4. Land conflicts are common in Indonesia where there are often multiple claims for the same land and multiple official maps at different levels of government. This leads to land conflicts and less incentive for the local governments to control fires and invest in firefighting capabilities. In the worst cases, fire is used as a weapon. Challenge 5. Lack of government enforcement starts because the Indonesian government is divided into five levels and a lack of communication and cooperation results in poor law enforcement and sometimes corruption. Challenge 6. The levels of education in villages are low and traditionally most waste was biodegradable, so waste management was simply burning, discarding or pushing into the river. But now with the advent of plastic products and packaging, waste is often burnt. Challenge 7. NGOs tend to believe that the best way to protect forests is to create conservation areas, whilst corporations see those unmanaged conservation areas get illegally logged and set on fire. So in the end, rural poverty, slash and burn agriculture, lack of education, land conflict, poor law enforcement and corruption leads to the haze, which impacts the whole region. Solving the haze is complex, difficult and dangerous work. Discover solutions to the haze and join the discussion on the FFA website. Just click here.